I know my room is a bit messy. It's just that um, I'm about to move out. Okay, I'm about to move out. I know y'all see the boxes in the back. So I mean, like, what's the point? Like, what's what's the what's the point of cleaning my room if I'm gonna move out anyways, huh? Like, what? Every time I log into Twitter, every time I log into Twitter, it's like it's like I'm quickly reminded that there's still evil in the world. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm reminded that villains aren't just they're not just fictional characters that exist in like TV shows and movies. Something's wrong with these niggas, bro. Something is really, really wrong. Me, me, whenever I log into Twitter, savages, savages, barely even human. No, but honestly, um, I, I don't even know why I use the app. Like if it wasn't for like the occasional memes that pop up on my timeline, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I would have, I would have flung that shit into the trash can a long, long time ago. Best way to describe Twitter, best way to describe Twitter would be like, it's like a collection of all the, all the super, super unpopular kids that like never really got any attention in school. So it's like, they're like unleashing all their built up angst, <laughs> all their built up angst on all, on all the other poor saps that happen to, that happen to come across the site. Some of these niggas on here, some of these niggas on here, they, they, they really think that they know politics. Like they think they're at like the forefront of the next political revolution or something, right? Hong Kong protesting against China. Never heard of it. Never heard of it, buddy. Random Twitter user saying the same rehashed overused Twitter opinion to gain some temporary clout. Now that that's what my kids are going to be learning about, okay? That's what that's what that's what's going to be uh, getting cemented in the history books, okay? Best way to get any take noticed on Twitter. It isn't to be original. No, okay. What? What do you, originality? You made that word up. Stop it. Let's stop making up words so we can have a good video, okay? Originality, that shit isn't that shit isn't rewarded on Twitter. No, okay? <laughs> originality takes actual time and talent. Ain't no need for all that. Okay, ain't no need for all that. Just, look, instead, just rephrase. Rephrase the same tweet that went viral like uh, a month or two ago, right? Or, or even just a day or two ago. Sometimes that even works, right? Somebody said corporation bad. Good, good. Now, now you say, now you say, excuse me, corporations aren't good. And just watch. Watch as the clout rolls in. Yeah. Twitter peoples have gotten so validation hungry. So validation hungry. These niggas started that that ratio shit. You know that that little oh man, you got ratioed, bro. If you don't know what ratioing is, um, number one, get off my fucking channel, you boomer. <laughs> you fucking boomer, okay? It's <laughs> it's it's time for your five p.m. nap, nigga. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go downtown to go play bingo with your Vietnam buddies, nigga. Nah, but um. Ratioing someone, it's pretty much just like, uh, it's like replying to someone and getting more likes than the, you know, the original poster or just another nigga in the fucking comments, right? At first, at first I thought it was the most cringe shit ever, right? And, and to a certain degree, it still is just from the fact that it stems from validation. Now, not in the sense, not in the sense that everyone that's like trying to ratio someone is like, they're, it's not like they're seeking validation or something like that. It's not like they're always seeking validation, but it's just that um, the whole concept of it all, it just it, it just regards either validating your own opinion, you know, or uh, invalidating another person's opinion, you know, uh, you know, at, at least in the eyes of the Twitter court, you know, in the eyes of the, the Twitter courts. And as I said before, I used to hate that ratio and shit, bro. I used to, <laughs> I used to hate it until... Until I saw the way, until I saw the way people were doing it, okay, and it's it's some pretty funny shit, bro. It's some like don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Everyone on Twitter, everyone on Twitter, they're they're, they're all they're all useless, pointless, plagiarizing parasites, okay. They're all they're all useless individuals, but. They got some funny ass niggas on the site. I got I gotta admit, they got they got some funny ass niggas on that site, bro. I remember, right? I saw somebody. <laughs> I saw somebody say some bullshit on Twitter. It was like it was something stupid. Like the most erroneous opinion ever. The most the most erroneous opinion ever, right? Probably says something dumb like, um, 
I think that some rap songs is only an eight out of ten album. But nah, um, the dude he he says some bullshit, right? I scroll down, I scroll down to see what the replies look like, and um, the most like reply is like, <laughs> it's someone ratioing the nigga with a picture of Luigi with the person's IP address. <laughs> <laughs> funniest funniest shit I've ever seen, right? And um that's when I realized I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, why did I ever dislike this ratio and shit? I'm a hating ass nigga, bro. I'm a hating ass nigga. So so this shit is perfect for me. This this is perfect. In fact, alright, in fact, Twitter users making other Twitter users experience on the site a live in hell. That's like exactly what I need. That's <laughs> that's exactly what I want. Now, hopefully, hopefully the more of them, the more of them having a bad time, the more of them will like abandon this site. But um, it, it doesn't seem like that logic is working. It, it doesn't seem like that that's actually going to happen. It already seems like Twitter users, they're already like self-hating individuals. You know, they're already... They're already like, um, you know, they're already self-hating personalities that are just addicted to being, you know, stressed out all the time, you know? There's this one meme that's like talking about Twitter users and it goes something like, um, Twitter person, I like oranges. Other Twitter person, oh, so, so you're saying, you're saying you hate apples? You're saying you hate bananas? You know, you, you know that, yada, yada, yada. Obviously, it's not exactly like that, you know? Twitter users aren't that fucking angry, but it's like, it, it does, it does hold some truth to it, okay? There is some truth to it. It is so damn hard to hold a conversation on Twitter, bro. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I don't know if it's like, if Twitter, uh, if Twitter users are like inherently emotional people or something like that, or maybe Twitter holds so many people on the site, so many people on the site that there's like this, um, th this ever present feeling of like, social pressure and anxiousness just coercing niggas to just be the most despicable human beings ever right but um it's like some of these niggas they wake up just ready to fight like ready to ready to just go at uh ready to just go at it and just put on the fucking boxing gloves you know um <laughs> don't you get it don't you get it i, I don't want to solve my internal issues i want to be angry I want to be angry, okay? Speaking of people, speaking of people waking up ready to fight, um, I started working at like this fast food spot. I started working at this fast food spot, and you'd know that, you'd know that if you followed me on Twitter, you, you fucking freeloading ass bitch, okay? It's not as bad as you think, or it's, it's not as bad as I thought, at least, you know? Now, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, but there, there's still those, there's still those one out of 50 customers, though those one out of 50, one out of 50 customers that's only purpose in the world is to, is to make customer service workers lives a living hell, but, um... It's it's pretty chill most of the time. Um, I like to address. I like to address the fear that some people got about um, ordering. You know, a lot of people got this fear that uh, fast food workers we, we get angry. You know, we get angry if if you like if you like hesitate or, or you don't know what you want before uh, before you get to like the ordering box or something like that. Right. I'm here to tell you right now that fear is absolutely warranted, okay, that shit is real, that fear is real, we fucking hate that shit, bro, we fucking hate that shit, not only are you holding up the line, not only are you holding up our fucking line, but also we have drive through times we have to make, we have drive through times we have to make, and if we don't make them, corporate yells at us, we get yelled at, but well, actually, well, my manager, I mean, not yells at me, but they're just like, hey, yo, we gotta, we gotta speed this shit up, bro, but corporate yells at us as a team, okay, they yell at us, right, even though everywhere, everywhere is like understaffed, everywhere is understaffed, and the majority of the time, we have no control, we have like almost no control over it, some people just like order it, some people just like taking their, their good old time ordering. Some people like getting the, their bag and then checking the contents of the bag, right? Scrutinizing the fucking contents of the bag, right? 20, 10, 20 seconds in the drive-thru. Nothing we can do about it, right? All right? So yeah, we hate it. We hate it whenever y'all niggas do that. That shit is annoying, okay? 
It's mostly, it's mo- no, don't get me wrong, it's mostly corporate's fault. Mostly corporate's fault. 97% corporate's fault, 3% your fault. But still, we, we fucking hate you, okay? <laughs> we fucking hate you, dog. Don't hesitate, okay? You should you should feel like a terrible person, okay? Your, your hesitation, your, 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 your lack of urgency is why you're sick, uh, is why you're single, okay? Your, your lack of urgency is why you're single, nigga. <laughs> you're gonna die alone. <laughs> you're gonna die alone. But, um, yeah, that, um, that 30, that, that 30 uh, extra seconds you took to decide if you wanted an extra, an extra cup or not. Um, yeah, uh, good, good job getting that. Good job getting that extra, extra cup. Now you're gonna die alone, you dumbass nigga. <laughs> I know y'all liked that, okay? I know y'all liked how um how I, how I just transitioned topics so seamlessly. Nah, but um I'm gonna start doing that more. There's like a lot of there are a lot of ideas I come up with. I'll spend like a day on it, right? Finish like half of like what I want to get to, or like one fourth of how much I want to f- like kind of like <sighs> structure it with structure the thing with, right? And, um, I can't do that because sometimes I just run out of fuel. I run out of steam and I'm just like, there's no way for me to extend the length of this video without, um, without making the video like just mid, you know, making it like mundane and boring as fuck, you know? So I was like, why don't I add it to like the end of like another video to have a longer video, more content for people. I don't have to like waste What's it called? I don't have to waste idea time, you know, because a nigga's, again, a nigga about to move out, bro. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the video, or maybe I said that at, like, the take, another take of the fucking recording I did. I don't know, but I'm moving out, by the way. That's why this room's so messy and shit, but, um, yeah, I just decided I need to add tidbits. Let me add the tidbits end of the video, and, uh, you know, overall, it's a win-win, win for me, win for you. Moral of the story, I'm a smart ass nigga, okay? That's what I wanted to let you guys know. I'm a smart ass nigga, okay? Announcement, announcement. I'm starting up a podcast. Starting up a podcast is with one of the funniest niggas I know. Literally one of, he like, he half as funny as me. Half as funny as me. So he probably like the, that's probably like the second funniest nigga on the, (laughs) second funniest nigga on the planet, right? That's all you need to know, okay? That's all you need to know. Link is in the description. Hopefully we'll have an episode of it up before you, um, before, um, damn, a nigga can't think, bro, before this video goes live, hopefully, I don't know, all right, but still, go ahead and check it out, why don't you consider subscribing, nigga, subscribe, okay, you can subscribe, bro, turn on those notifications, that should be sick as fuck, bro, that should be cool, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, subscribe, turn on notifications, okay, see ya, bye-bye.